Right now, two athletes are in Madison this morning competing for the national championship in curling. And we're finally starting to feel a whole lot like spring. We'll give you the details coming up. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday, and thanks for joining us on News 3 Now. I'm McKenna Alexander. Let's go ahead and take a look outside this morning. And Julian, saw some snowflakes as I was driving in today. Saying that's because we did see a small little system start to roll its way into southern Wisconsin overnight, which even brought some grapple to some areas in southern Madison. But as we can see, as of right now, that's pretty much all over with. We are looking at clear skies as we're starting off our Sunday morning. And on top of it, temperatures are much better than they were just yesterday. As we look ahead right now, it's 22 degrees. But we're going to be back into those 40s into the afternoon. We're already going to be into those lower 40s, around 43 degrees for us. And the winds will be onto the breezier side. But but for the most part, today is going to be quite a magnificent day. Now, here's our radar for the last three hours. As McKenna had mentioned, we did see some snowfall overnight, but it was some light snow. And on top of it, we did see some of that grapple. But now that is all exited and pushed its way east. And so now we're looking at clear skies for us and plenty of sunshine for the rest of today. Now, our temperatures are so much better than they were yesterday. We were into the single digits, even though we're still below freezing. Well, it's a good below freezing as of right now. As we're at 18 degree increase for many of us, we're all into double digit increases in temperatures. And we're still going to be seeing those 40s coming into this afternoon. We'll talk more into detail about what to come up in just a few moments. Until then, let's go ahead and toss it back to you, McKenna. All right, thanks, Julian. Maybe you spent some time last month watching these athletes compete for Team USA in the Olympics. This weekend, a lot of them are here in Madison, competing with a couple of local curling legends for a new title. Kelly Molina shares what's next for two all-time greats and how they're being received here at home. Throwing the Red Rocks, Becca Hamilton. An Olympic brother-sister duo back where it all began. I've known Matt and Becca since they were teenagers when they first um, started curling in Madison. Just a few weeks after competing in Beijing, they're looking to represent Team USA once again. <laughs> hoping to sweep their way into first place in the 2022 Mixed Doubles National Championship. It's harder than it looks. Their local fans cheering them on. Extremely proud, just, you know, the gold medal and seeing him play in um, multiple Olympics. And area curlers inspired. I've only been curling for four years, but you can come down to the curling club and see me playing with Matt Hamilton, who has a gold medal on the same, on the same team on a Wednesday beer night league. That's a cool thing that you wouldn't get in uh, many other sports. As for Becca and Matt, aside from claiming the national title, they're looking forward to sleeping in their own beds. In Middleton, Tehreen Hedin, News 3 Now. Becca and Matt Hamilton won Saturday's match and will compete today for the national championship. It's set to start at 11 a.m. at the Bob Cedar Capital Ice Arena in Middleton. Scouts in our region are giving back this week. Verona Cub Scout Pack 549 and Troop 349 are giving shoppers in Verona a list of food and non perishable food items needed by the Badger Prairie Needs Network. Shoppers at Miller's and Sons Supermarket are encouraged to donate items or make cash donations. Organizers say this is just one way they're teaching the young scouts to give back. Unfortunately, the last two years with the pandemic have been really difficult for a lot of people to be able to afford to purchase the food they need. And the services that Badger Prairie Needs Network provides to them helps them keep their family going. The Scouts are hoping to collect 12,000 pounds of donations. If you're looking to help out, they'll be at Miller & Sons Supermarket in Verona again this morning from 9 until 4. Decorating signs, giving speeches, and casting their first ballot. Girl Scouts from across the state of Wisconsin gathered in the Capitol this weekend for a jam-packed day of fun activities and an opportunity to make their voices heard. Service, leadership, empowerment, and of course, deliciously sweet cookies are all key ingredients as to why the Girl Scouts have such a long-lasting legacy. There's something that's very, very powerful about women working together uh, to, to make the world a better place. In celebration of their 110-year anniversary, troops from across the nation are bringing girls together to acknowledge the lasting imprint the organization has had on our nation's history, celebrating both the community and sisterhood. When everyone was getting ready for the photo, I was up there just looking down, and I was just thinking, wow, all of these girls from all across the state just coming here and celebrating being themselves. I just thought it was really amazing. The day's activities centered on civic engagement and public service, allowing girls 
girls from the pre-K to the 12th grade to join the conversation with local lawmakers. In one session called Girls Decide, State Reps Francesca Hong and Sarah Rodriguez explored the topic of voting with the Scouts, explaining how a vote can help shape the issues that they care about most. We're building tomorrow's leaders, the people who are going to serve in the Senate, the people who are going to be the police officers, the people who are going to build community. And so Girl Scouts creates the next generation of those people that are going to make a difference for the world. Expressing their gratitude for the lessons they've learned in the program, many girls say they're ready to continue their Girl Scout journey. As their handbook says, the work of today is the history of tomorrow, and we are its makers. If you want to support a troop and the work the Girl Scouts are doing, cookie season just got started last week. It will run through April 10th. Still ahead, a look at how rising inflation is impacting small business owners' everyday lives. And you're taking a live look over the Capitol. Julian's tracking your forecast just ahead on News 3 Now. This is the most important, amazingest game ever played in the universe. The pitcher is fierce. Danny Roberts is up at bat. And the crowd goes wild. We protect the car you drive. Go get him, Danny. And the dreams that drive you. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. Welcome to the lifestyles of the smart and savvy. Today, the Coopers are a cost-conscious couple. But back in the day, not so much. Now, saving is more their style, which is why they chose Consumer Cellular. They get the same premium coverage as the nation's leading carriers for half the cost. Imagine talk, text, and data starting at $20 a month and award-winning customer service. Switch to Consumer Cellular today and get $25. At Pick and Save, we believe fresh is all about standards. That's why we do up to a 27-point inspection on our produce. Like for oranges, we check for color and scarring and more, keeping only the best of the best on our shelves. Because when it comes to fresh for everyone, we believe the juice is worth the squeeze. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. You're a hard worker. Provide for your family. Do good things in the community. Help out your neighbors. You've been there for so many others. Now, we're here for you. Your local Wisconsin Energy and Emergency Assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. It's Steinhoffel's Spring Sale. Time to refresh your home and save big. Save 35% on all the latest styles and trends from all the top brands. Steinhoffel's has something for every style and every budget. Mattresses for a great night's sleep. Sofas for snuggling. A new dining room table for family game night. It's all on sale. And when you take advantage of Steinhoffel's special financing, you're going to save even more. Relax. It's Steinhoffel's. It's Chevy Truck Month, and it's time to add the perfect accessories to your new Chevy. Make it bolder. Make it work harder. Make it your own. Find new possibilities. Find new roads. Very well-qualified buyers can get 0% financing on most Chevy pickup trucks. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward the eligible purchase of a new Chevy truck with accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. And as we are getting up for our Sunday morning, just know we are starting to see that small system that was bringing in some light snow and grapple overnight is clearing its way out. And we are going to be seeing some more open sky to kick off our Sunday morning. Right now it's 22 degrees here in Madison. It feels like it's 16 degrees as winds have started to taper off just a tad bit. But we have all seen some 
pretty good increases in temperatures over the last 24 hours. Double digits for many of us here in southern Wisconsin. Increases in temperature, which is just the start of us going into some milder conditions for today. As we can see, overnight we did see some light snow that started to clear itself out of southern Wisconsin and has tracked itself east. And now we're looking for some open sky and plenty of sunshine to kick off our morning. Well, on top of that, we are looking for this warmer air to start to roll its way in coming in from the south. But we are seeing some windier conditions areas into the south as well. Well, but on top of that, we are going to be looking at for our friends up into northern Wisconsin, still seeing a bit of some colder air as that cold front's going to sweep its way through. And that's where we're going to see overnight with that small cold front to be bringing in some snow to areas north of the Dells. But for us, we're looking at clear skies here in southern Wisconsin and especially around Dane County. As we get into this evening, cloud cover will start to build up for us as temperatures still hang around the freezing points, just a degree or two off. But we are going to be seeing going into tomorrow morning. Well, it's going to be a pretty quiet commute for us as we transition into Monday afternoon. Temperatures will rise into around 50 degrees here in southern Wisconsin, especially around for Madison and into areas near Janesville. As we go into our Monday afternoon, Monday evening, as you can see, that small line of a burst of some snow is going to be in areas north of Camp Douglas into northern or central Wisconsin for us. So it's going to pretty much miss southern Wisconsin, but we will start to see some precipitation start to roll in as we get into the overnight hours near midnight and transitioning into overnight into Tuesday morning, but we'll be clearing out for our Tuesday morning commutes. But thanks to the grapple and the light snow that we have seen overnight, we are looking at some slick spots on the roads, so make sure that you are still just taking some care this morning, but they look to clear up as we get into the rest of our afternoon as temperatures and as sunshine will be shining bright on us throughout much of today. The three things we're going to need to know, we are finally going to feel a whole lot like spring. Milder temperatures for us. We do have some rain chances in for next week and unseasonably warm temperatures going into our Wednesday. And for our precipitation chances, we're looking for overnights mainly throughout uh, the week. But on top of that, we're going to be seeing Friday giving us the best chance to see some rainfall for us. But as we take a look at our 10-day forecast, as we can see, 50s and 60s are going to be hanging around for us throughout much of the next few days. As I mentioned, it's going to feel a whole lot like spring, and I am excited for it because I am ready to give my heater a break. <laughs> I'm ready to be where you can go outside and not have to warm up your car really, not have to put on like 8,000 layers. Right, exactly. You're going to lose like no 10 gloves, pounds, no knock all the things. <laughs> I'm just gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. I'm not gonna be walking around like a marshmallow anymore. <laughs> Winter's not a good time for me. You're such a puffer, aren't you? I am a puffer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, good thing we have some spring all the way then for you. <laughs> all right, thanks, Jillian. And inflation keeps climbing higher and it's affecting nearly everything. Skyrocketing gas prices, rents going through the roof, even groceries taking a heavier toll. Ed Lavender has more on how it's impacting people's lives. For a cold, hard lesson on inflation, step into the refrigerator where Karina Gudino Wallink stores the food supplies she just bought for her pop up food stand business in Phoenix, Arizona. So, usually it would be the boneless would be about a dollar a pound. Um, right now it's $184 a pound. This cheese used to be $9. Right now it's, on, it's like $14.56. Two years ago, Karina opened up Down to Get Tacos, catering special events. Inflation has upended her business. Have there been events where you've just lost money? Oh, 100%. So these are from today. As we look over some of the week's receipts, Karina explains the hardest impact of inflation on a small business owner is how unpredictable her world has become. The demand for her business is there. Everything else is a nightmare. And that makes it hard for someone like you to run your business. Correct. It makes it unbelievably difficult for us to predict any pricing. I can't even say I'm going to charge you a certain price right now because in three days, it's probably bound to change, right. you know, and it's never for the better. Phoenix, Arizona has one of the highest inflation rates in the country. The latest statistics show it's three percentage points higher than the national average for cities. And that makes life harder for people living on fixed incomes like Geraldine Spencer. This was the first one I ever did. As she shows us her painting skills, Geraldine tells us she lives on $1,700 a month in Social Security. She says she pays $600 in rent and at least $300 a month pays for needed kidney and blood pressure medications. The rest of her bills, like home utilities, car fuel, and groceries, she finds depressing. How hard is it living on a fixed income? It is hard, and I feel so sorry for my friends that just don't have this kind of money 
as much as I do because they're much worse off than me. So my commute is about a block and a half, which is real nice. So you can walk to work? I walk to work. You're it's the best. That's a cheap gas bill. Oh, I love it. The walk home from the ceramic shop where Katia Schwartz works might save her money on gas. This is my humble abode. But the nights after work are filled with dread, searching for a new place to live. In four months, Katia's rent for this 300-square-foot apartment is going to jump from $670 a month to just over $1,000. She says her paycheck won't cover it. I would consider living in my car, yes, I would. Though my sister would never allow it. Phoenix home prices have skyrocketed in the last year. Apartments Katia can afford are so far away that paying to gas up her car would then be too much. I would imagine that battling this at this stage in your life is... It's really hard. It's really hard. It's... makes me feel useless. Like, I'm not doing enough. Are you worried that Katya says she's at stage one panic levels and the thought of what happens next makes her quiver. A new initiative in Los Angeles works to put homeless veterans back with a roof over their head. That story coming up next on News 3 Now this morning Sunday. Trust the First Born Weather Team for your most accurate forecast. Hello, I'm Roman Ryan of Ryan Funeral Homes. As a locally owned and operated funeral home, it's important to know that not all funeral homes are the same. Some other Madison area funeral homes are actually owned by corporations based outside of the United States. A corporately owned funeral home is focused on the bottom line, making services more costly. We have served local families for more than 80 years, and our priority is investing in the community and your family. In your time of need, Ryan Funeral Homes are here for you. Deep in credit card debt? Did you know Credit Associates can help you reduce that debt? It's not nearly as complicated as you think. Let me show you what I mean. First, there's the total amount of credit card debt you owe. Whoa! We can reduce that by almost half. Second, how about those decades you'll be in debt? Reduce that down to as little as 24 to 36 months, giving you up to 20 debt-free years back. Lastly, how about the endless hours of stress and anxiety from being in debt? We can help reduce that too. It's easy to get started. Call now to see how Credit Associates can reduce your debt and save you thousands. The information is free and there's no risk to call. 1-800-949-3849. Call Credit Associates now to start living better, debt-free. 1-800-949-3849. It's Ford Truck Month, America. Let's get after it. With new inventory arriving daily, it's time to get after it in a Ford F-150 and a Ford Ranger. Stop by your local Ford dealer today and let us help you custom order your truck your way. Then we'll get after building it. It's Ford Truck Month. Visit your local Ford dealer today. Order your F-150 to lock in 0% financing for 66 months and 500 cash, plus an extra 1,000 retailer order bonus. And now, most admired alum. Get out there. This is so embarrassing. There's no way it's me. <laughs> you know her. You love her. Ruh -ruh. What are you doing here? It's Anna Gomez! Who? Our first gadillionaire. With AT&T Fiber, Anna's got the fastest internet with hyper gig speed. I didn't know you went to the school. We have a lot in common. Live like a gadillionaire with AT&T Fiber. Now with speeds up to 5 gigs. Limited availability. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. 
And here comes the sun as we are taking a look outside of our sky cam here in Madison. We can see just that little shot of the sun rising over the clouds as we're getting things started for this morning. Right now, the temperature has a move over the past 45 minutes. We're at 22 degrees still, but winds have tapered off a bit, and I'm going to taper off throughout much of this morning until we get into the afternoon when it'll start to pick back up, shifting from the west. However, on top of them shifting, well, we're looking at temperatures into the 40s. In the last three hours, we did see some light snow, some grapple, and even some flurries around southern Wisconsin, but that has tracked itself east over across of Lake Michigan, and so now we're looking at clearer conditions for us, but be mindful that some roads are still slick as we wake up this morning. We're looking for that warmer air to start to roll in for us, bringing in temperatures into the 40s for this afternoon, and that's going to be the start of a trend into next week where we're looking at mild temperatures heading into our uh, second, the third week of March. But remember, we do have some slick spots as we are waking up this morning around Dane County and around Southern Wisconsin as well. So make sure that you are using some caution, but just also be aware they're going to clear up as we get into the afternoon. That's going to do it for weather for right now, but let's go ahead and toss it to you, McKenna. All right, thanks, Julian. This morning, tens of thousands of veterans will wake up without a roof over their heads. But in Los Angeles, some are finding shelter in a village of tiny homes, as Joy Bendick reports in this morning's Weekend Journal. The west side of Los Angeles is known for giant waving flags and patriotism. But nestled behind the gates of the Veterans Affairs compound, it is the smallest of symbols that seem to have the biggest impact on those who served. Mine is down here. And, uh, Michael Shea is homeless, or at least he was. Um, that's a parachute rigger, and then those are my airborne wings. He was proud to show off his first home in almost a year, a tiny structure built on the lawn of the Los Angeles VA. It's not a car door. It's not, you know, it's actual, it's a door. And there are rows of doors. This is CTRS, Care Treatment Rehabilitation Services, the only tiny home village in the nation run by the VA and reserved for homeless veterans. Thought that this would be the best avenue to getting back to that, you know, forever home. And he's not alone. There are an estimated 40,000 homeless veterans nationwide. So when the pandemic shut down group shelters and tents displaying the stars and stripes started showing up outside the gates, this program was born. A tent city, then tiny shelters, all of which are donated. We had a lot of homeless veterans, but we needed a place to put them. Shannon Santini runs the program. In the last four months, she has seen donations come in from local schools, local businesses, even former Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's really heartwarming to be able to offer a, a pallet shelter to someone versus a tent, so it's really wonderful. But it's also very sad when you think about how much need there is here in this community. Yeah, veterans right now are coming here from all across the country saying, oh, we saw that you have this pallet shelter. Can we come to it? But this is just the beginning. Five years since I had my own place. Five, six years. Warren Miller moved into one of the first tiny shelters in October. A few weeks ago, Come into my little humble abode. He unlocked the door to a real home. I love the smile you're wearing these days. Thank you. I got something to smile about. <laughs> and although Shay is just no, thankful for his tiny friend. shelter, He's starting to realize he deserves more. You know, the longer I became homeless, the more undeserving I felt. So the more times I closed that door, the more I started to feel I deserved a home. Not just a door, a gateway to a fresh start and hopefully a home for all who served. Yeah. Feels good. Feels good. Joy Benedict, CBS News, Los Angeles. There's a half hour of news still ahead here on News Through This Morning Sunday. Next, we're running through the morning's top stories. We'll be right back. Fresh out of Papa Murphy's Kitchen, the Buffalo Ranch Chicken Pizza. Uh, actually, it's fresh out of my oven. Dad, it's just an expression. Grilled chicken, crunchy bacon, covered in creamy buffalo sauce. Now that is an expression. Change the way you pizza. Water is one of nature's most beautiful and life-sustaining resources. At no fault of their own, many Wisconsin utility customers are facing a shutoff to their water service. This leaves them without the one life-giving resource we all take for granted. And those hardest hit are on fixed incomes, juggling multiple temporary jobs, or those who lost full-time jobs in sectors hardest hit by the pandemic. 
If someone you care about needs a hand up, your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your water, heat, and power on. If you are in danger of losing your water service, call 833-H2O-WISC, 833-426-9472. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. There are door dings of plenty, runaway carts that are empty, teenagers learning how to drive. So in life, throws you uh oh just say. How you sleep Uh-oh. sets your entire life in motion. So live your best life by getting your best sleep on a Doctor's Choice mattress. The perfect combination of support and comfort. In fact, I've been recommending it to my patients for over 20 years. Visit us in store or online and discover all the benefits of Doctor's Choice only at Denver Mattress. When searching for your dream home, it's important to figure out what style of home you like. Victorian, cottage, Tudor. It's also important to protect your home and all the dreams that come with it. When looking for your dream home, keep in mind good things come in pairs, like dual sinks, Jonathan and me, and pairing your home and auto insurance, which can get you one step closer to achieving your dream. Pretty sure people call it bundling. Bundle your home and auto insurance and save up to 28%. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance. News 3 Now's Call for Action team advocates for you. Getting through when you can't. We hear comments like, oh, thank you for listening, and nobody cared. Asking the right questions. Your customers are so frustrated, yeah. you hope to make that right. And getting results. They sent a water heater the next day after you told me you made the call. When you're getting nowhere, we have the team and the resources to get answers. Call for Action, only on News 3 Now. We're taking action for you. Right now, Russian forces continue to make their way closer to the capital city of Kiev in Ukraine. This comes as President Biden has announced more sanctions against Moscow. And it's going to start to feel a whole lot like spring. We'll give you the details in a few. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday, and thanks for joining us on News 3 Now. I'm McKenna Alexander. Let's go ahead and send over to Julian Sirit for a look at that beautiful sunrise we're seeing right now. Aha, there she is. Yes, it is a beautiful <laughs> sunrise. Just an hour late, but here it is now. We're going to start to see the sunrise around 7 o'clock from now on, and it is a gorgeous start to our Sunday morning, at least from the sunrise perspective, and temperatures are much better than they were yesterday. Now, as we take a look at our current conditions as of right now, 22 degrees, plenty of sun. The snow that we were seeing has cleared its way out of southern Wisconsin for the most part. Just some small traces into eastern side. But also, we have seen a great increase in temperatures over the last 24 hours. Even though it's still below freezing, at least it doesn't feel nearly as cold as it did yesterday. Yesterday, we were in the single digits, feeling like we were below zero. Now, we are seeing temperatures into those 20s around southern Wisconsin. And now, the last three hours, here's a look at our radar. We were seeing some of that light snow around southern Wisconsin, but has moved its way east and pretty much cleared itself out at this hour. So now we're just left with sunshine, a little bit of wind, and some milder temperatures on the way. Temperatures will rise. Again, we've been talking about the mild spring-like feels, but see this great increase as we're going to be going from the 20s to 30s, and yes, into the 40s, and just flirting with some 50s as we get into the later part of today. So those of us who are active and like to go outside for our runs, well, today's going to be a pretty good one for it as we're going to see those temperatures really sustain into the 40s from the late morning into the afternoon and evening hours. So definitely get outside and enjoy it. But one thing we are going to keep an eye on is that we don't have a lot of it, but we do have some chances of seeing some showers heading into next week, especially for next Friday. We'll take a look at what we're going to be expecting in just a few moments. Until then, it's also back to you, McKenna. All right, thanks, Julian. Right now, tensions remain high in Ukraine as Russian forces continue to make their way closer to the capital city of Kiev. This comes as the United States sends more aid to Ukraine. Cole Higgins has the latest. Russian forces are tightening their grip on Kyiv as they inch closer to the Ukrainian capital. British defense officials say the bulk of Russia's forces are now about 15 miles from the city center. Now we have another day and we take one day at a time and each day can be the last. 
Satellite images show Russian airstrikes destroying infrastructure to the north and south of Kyiv, including a massive fire at a warehouse. And just 30 miles west of Kyiv, major damage to apartment complexes, schools, and a medical facility. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says negotiations between Ukraine and Russia must begin with a ceasefire. The enemy is bringing new and new columns into our territory. We need everything. Military jet, anti-tank, air, anti-aircraft missiles, from nutrition to ammunition, everything. Saturday, President Biden ordering the release of an additional $200 million in security assistance to Ukraine. These dollars will help provide at least some additional weapons, but it's truly an unfair fight. All of this as the human cost of the war grows. The UN says more than two and a half million Ukrainians have already fled the country. The problem of uh, supplies of uh, food and medicine. Uh, so far we are trying to deal with it, but uh, the situation might worsen. I'm Cole Higgins reporting. Russia's deputy foreign minister has issued a warning to the United States about the potential consequences of transferring weapons to Ukraine, saying convoys with foreign weapons would become, quote, legitimate targets. Meanwhile, a former president of Ukraine says this is not an attack against his country, but is an attack against freedom and democracy. He also warns people to be wary of Russian President Vladimir Putin. In my experience of five years communication with Putin, we have one very important message. Please don't trust Putin. Please don't trust Russia. I think this is Putin is a war criminal. He is absolutely inadequate. He is a mad person. Meanwhile, this is the latest map of the battleground. In the last two weeks, Russian forces have gained territory just north of Kyiv. Meanwhile, Ukrainians have experienced brutal shelling in the south, destroying many homes while thousands of people evacuate. <laughs> We're beginning to see the emotional toll this war has had on so many families. This woman and her child now homeless after their apartment was struck by Russian artillery Saturday morning. Thankfully, her family is safe at a nearby refugee camp. The UN is reporting that more than 3 million people have now fled Ukraine, nearly a third of which are children. The UN reports it's one of the largest humanitarian crises since World War II. Most camps have set up health clinics, schools and nurseries to help those affected. Sanctions on Russia are pushing up gas prices here in the U.S., and that's why Uber is rolling out a fuel fee. The rideshare company says the fee will apply to rides and Uber Eats deliveries beginning March 16th. The money will go directly to the drivers. Uber says it will reevaluate the surcharge in 60 days. Meanwhile, a glimmer of hope in the midst of that crisis in Ukraine. A pregnant woman who survived the maternity hospital bombing has now given birth. Halagrani has more on her story. This is Mariana Vishergiskaya, heavily pregnant and escaping from the wreckage of recently bombed Mariupol Maternity Hospital. And this is Mariana Vishergiskaya a day later, in a new hospital and the proud mother of a daughter, Veronica. <laughs> The attack on the Mariupol Maternity Hospital drew widespread condemnation. The images of pregnant women being rescued from the attack made front pages around the world. The searing image was taken following a Russian airstrike on the hospital Wednesday that injured 17 people, including children, women and doctors, according to Mariupol city officials. Three people died, the city council said Thursday among them a child. The Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov claimed without proof that the hospital was housing a Ukrainian battalion. And this wouldn't be the first medical facility to be hit. The World Health Organization has identified 24 separate Russian attacks on Ukrainian hospitals. Despite the toughest possible start in life, Veronica was born in another Ukrainian hospital when Mariana was evacuated. The family is not disclosing their location for safety reasons. Her aunt, Tatyana Lubchenko, told CNN, Veronica was born healthy and around three kilograms. There was no electricity in the hospital and the temperature was minus five degrees outside. She says she hopes, quote, sufficient conditions will be provided for the baby to stay healthy.
A child born into a world of danger, but her very existence in this time of war, an act of defiance. And for the latest headlines out of Eastern Europe and how you can help those affected in Ukraine, download our Channel 3000 News app. It's free and available in the App Store. Turning to local coverage now, Fitchburg police are investigating reports of shots fired early Saturday morning. Police say multiple people either saw or heard gunfire just after midnight on Post Road. Officers say they found two men and arrested one on unrelated charges. That investigation is still going on. Police ask anyone with information to please call Fitchburg police. And we're now seeing a new video out of Milwaukee. This is from back in January, when a man shot and injured a police officer, then took off with the officer's vehicle. The video was released Friday night. At the time, the shooting was the second shooting of an officer in the city in two days and the third in two weeks. That 22-year-old suspect was later caught and is facing several charges, including attempted first-degree intentional homicide. A world-famous art museum became a high-profile crime scene Saturday afternoon. Two employees at New York City's Museum of Modern Art were stabbed by a 60-year-old man who recently had his membership revoked. Police say the man entered the museum to see a film, but was denied entrance. That's when he jumped the counter and attacked two employees. Recorded on video, leaving, we have a direction of flight. His description went out immediately over the division radio to the units in the area, and um, an immediate canvas was begun by units who responded to the vicinity of the scene and started looking for him. Meanwhile, both of those victims are expected to be all right. A new report says most Americans had trouble keeping up with rent during the pandemic. A look at those numbers when we return. Finding my way forward with node positive breast cancer felt overwhelming at times, but I never just found my way. I made it. So when I finished active therapy, I kept moving forward and did everything I could to protect myself from recurrence. Verzenio is the first treatment in over 15 years to reduce the risk of recurrence for adults with HR positive, HER2 negative, node positive, early breast cancer with a high chance of returning, as determined by your doctor when added to hormone therapy. Hormone therapy works outside the cell, while Verzenio works inside to help stop the growth of cancer cells. Diarrhea is common, may be severe, or cause dehydration or infection. At the first sign, Call your doctor, start an anti-diarrheal, and drink fluids. Before taking Verzenio, tell your doctor about any fever, chills, or other signs of infection. Verzenio may cause low white blood cell counts, which may cause serious infection that can lead to death. Life-threatening lung inflammation can occur. Tell your doctor about any new or worsening trouble breathing, cough, or chest pain. Serious liver problems can happen. Symptoms include fatigue, appetite loss, stomach pain, and bleeding or bruising. Blood clots that can lead to death have occurred. Tell your doctor if you have pain or swelling in your arms or legs, shortness of breath, chest pain, and rapid breathing or heart rate, or if you are nursing, pregnant, or plan to be. I'm making my way forward, my way, with Fresenio. Ask your doctor about everyday Fresenio. The great outdoors await you at Bob's Discount Furniture. Soak up the sun on my dream outdoor sectional, only $19.99. Dine outside with my Lennox Outdoor Dining Set, only $18.99. And lounge on my Laurel Outdoor Sectional, only $16.99. Each have Bobapedic memory foam seating, matching accent pillows, and 100% recyclable all-weather wicker. Plus, each set comes with a heavyweight cover. And in Bob's backyard, the wildlife doesn't want to eat you. Good. Just belly rubs. <laughs> If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to completely resolve your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you can save, call now. 1-800-914-6947. Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes and we could save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk to call. Credit Associates. Live better debt-free. We'll even show you how to use your stimulus money to jumpstart our services and get you debt-free faster than you ever thought possible. Call Credit Associates now to see how much you could save for free. Call 1-800-914-6947. Four, seven. Away from your TV? Not a problem. Get breaking news, weather alerts, and political coverage from the award-winning News 3 Now team. Plus, all things Madison. Stay connected anywhere with Channel 3000, Madison's number one digital news source. 
Now we've been talking about precipitation chances heading into the later part of next week. And this is what we're going to be taking a look at in terms of painting the picture of what we could be expecting. For Monday nights, we're looking at a chance of seeing some rain showers start to roll its way through. Nothing too significant and nothing too organized. Later into the week, Tuesday, Wednesday will be on the drier side, but then some models are trying to say that for Thursday and Friday, well, we're looking at something different. And this is what we're going to be keeping an eye on. For the this one run, we are looking at some widespread rain starting to see that low track itself into southern Wisconsin and really start to develop there. And then with the colder weather starting to roll its way in with those colder temperatures over top in the loft, we are going to see that transition into some mixing of snow, even here for Dane County transitioning itself into Friday. However, here's another look at what we're seeing Thursday completely dry and going to be missing as that low will be tracking itself into mainly northern Illinois and into southeastern Wisconsin, more so into areas near the Milwaukee and Kenosha side, pretty much missing Dane County. But so what we're keeping an eye on will be the precipitation that we will be seeing and just how much. But aside from that, we're still going to be looking at some spring like conditions over the next few days and some unseasonably warm weather into Wednesday. We'll have more details coming up in a few moments. Till then, back to you, McKenna. All right, thanks, Julian. A new report says most Americans had trouble keeping up with rent during the pandemic and with inflation now at an all time high, some are still finding it difficult to pay for basic needs. In some parts of Wisconsin, you could be paying more than $800 for a two bedroom apartment. And here in Dane County, that number doubles, maybe even triples. RentData.com ranks the Madison area as one of the most expensive places for rentals right next to Milwaukee County. The average American family is going to struggle to to uh, continue to, to, to battle these, uh, you know, higher rents, higher food costs. The Federal Reserve is expected to raise interest rates this week in an attempt to curb some of the highest inflation the nation's experienced in years. And while many hoped that inflation would start to peak in March, we're seeing gas prices continue to hit new records, and that's partly because of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. According to AAA, the national average for a gallon is at $4.32. And another problem for the nation's economy, American businesses unable to find enough workers. Chris Van Cleve reports on one of those trouble spots. There's a big problem playing out in Little Lytle, Texas, outside San Antonio. Work installing this roof on the town's high school is moving slowly. But it's not a shortage of supplies, it's a shortage of manpower. So at the end of the year, we may hire 12 people, and through attrition, we're losing more than 12 people. Despite salaries hitting the six figures, Brad Belden's roofing company can't find enough roofers. The construction industry is dirty, dangerous, and difficult and American workers aren't interested in doing that. Has it gotten worse during the pandemic? It's gotten considerably worse. Belden is the third generation to run his family business, and while hiring has never been easy, it's especially hard now. Nationwide, there are around 800,000 open construction jobs. It's gotten so bad, he's passing on some work just as demand for housing and warehouse space is surging. The worker shortage is on display at this project here. They have about 25 percent of the people they would normally have working on this high school roof, and that means the project will take three to four times as long to finish. <laughs> Unable to find enough American workers, Belden has used the government's H-2B guest worker visa program since 2007 to bring in qualified roofers from abroad, but there's more demand than visas. In 2017, Congress allowed for up to 130,000 to be awarded annually, but tens of thousands go unissued each year by the government, leaving many jobs un filled. To not use all of these visas is uh, a major disservice to the economy. Cato Institute research fellow David Beer estimates those unused visas cost the economy two billion dollars a year. When businesses can't hire the labor that they need, that cost gets passed on to the consumer of the product that the business is trying to supply. We already have a workplace shortage. So Maine Congresswoman Shelley Pingree is proposing legislation to expand the H-2B visa program. The bill has more than 70 bipartisan co-sponsors, but the program faces opposition from labor unions and immigration reform has stalled for years in Congress. Would it be better for the economy to dictate how many guest workers come in? There's no reason it shouldn't be a more open process and the supply shouldn't be allowed to meet the demand. Jobs currently going unfilled on projects getting harder to complete. Still ahead, researchers and deep sea robots have discovered one of the 20th century's most famous ships. How they did it, coming up. And you're taking a live look over the Capitol. Julian's tracking your forecast just ahead.
Locos 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. You're a hard worker. Provide for your family. Do good things in the community. Help out your neighbors. You've been there for so many others. Now, we're here for you. Your local Wisconsin Energy and Emergency Assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Awesome. Cool. Pass out to the distribution list. And Lauren? Lauren? There's Lauren. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, a two-year or 25,000-mile maintenance plan and roadside assistance. See your local Toyota dealer or visit toyota.com to learn more. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Your mission, stand up to moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis and take it on with Rinvoke. Rinvoke, a once-daily pill, can dramatically improve symptoms. Rinvoke helps tame pain, stiffness, swelling, and for some, Rinvoke can even significantly reduce RA fatigue. That's Rinvoke relief. With RA, your overactive immune system attacks your joints. Rinvoke regulates it to help stop the attack. Rinvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious infections and blood clots, some fatal, cancers, including lymphoma and skin cancer, death, heart attacks, stroke, and tears in the stomach or intestines occurred. People 50 and older with at least one heart disease risk factor have higher risks. Don't take if allergic to Rinvoke, as serious reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Talk to your rheumatologist about Rinvoke Relief. Rinvoke, make it your mission. Learn how AbbVie could help you save on Rinvoke. To stay out in front, you have to rise above the competition at every turn and earn the right to be known as a champion. Jack, how's the car? hy gets what it takes to be the best. When it comes to fresh, sustainable seafood, they're first rate. Because they know fresh seafood. And here's a simple takeaway. If you think you can find any better, then you don't know hy and... You don't know, Jack. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. And we have a gorgeous sunrise to start off for our Sunday morning. And temperatures are much better than they were yesterday as we're at 22 degrees. Haven't moved in the past hour and a half, but we are still holding on to much better temperatures than we had yesterday. We were in single digits and below zero. Well, folks, now we are at least into the double digits and into the 20s to kick off our Sunday morning. And it's just going to get better as the rest of the day continues. But for right now, we can see over the last 24 hours, temperatures have increased into the double digits and upper double digits throughout much of southern Wisconsin. So it's definitely a bit of a relief as we are starting off this morning. Now we did see some light snow start to accumulate itself overnight early in this morning, but as now it has cleared out and it's over with. We're just looking at now clear conditions for us and plenty of sunshine, and we haven't seen much in terms of measurable snow, especially for Dane County and areas into the east. As we take a look, though, we do have some slick spots because of the grapple and even for the light snow that had fell. So just for the next 30 minutes or so, we're going to be seeing some slick spots around round, but as we continue throughout the rest of the day, just know that we are going to be seeing those road conditions really improve throughout the rest of the day and just be pretty clear as well. Now, as we take out look at playing the rest of today, the temperatures will be into the upper 40s for us. We're looking at plenty of sunshine. It's going to be a pretty gorgeous day for us here in Dane County. As we see that warmer air starting to sweep its way into southern Wisconsin, we are still looking for some breezier conditions, but that's mainly going to be into northern Illinois and for areas just about south of Dane County. County as well as we see that shift coming in from westerly winds for us bringing in a bit cooler air but on top of it we are still going to see those milder temperatures sticking around for us into those upper 40s as we get into this afternoon. 
than for tonight. Cloud cover is going to start to develop for us, but we're still going to be on the quiet side. We're not going to see much activity until we get to about Monday afternoon, and that's going to be for areas just north of the Black River Falls area. So central Wisconsin will start to see a bit of snowfall, but for us, we're going to stay dry until we get into about Monday nights. So that's what we're going to see from midnight into the overnight hours. Some light rain showers that will be off and on throughout the overnight hours, but for our Tuesday morning commutes, it's going to be on to the clear side. Now, we are keeping an eye on potentials of seeing some more showers heading into next week, but we are just trying to see exactly where that low is going to be setting up for us because for this one run, what we're looking at it to be the most aggressive in terms of bringing in some mixtures from that rain into snow overnight from Thursday transitioning into Friday. So that's one thing we're going to be keeping an eye on as that could be shifting either south or a bit more north over the next few days. Now, the next 10 days, however, aside from Thursday into Friday, we are going to be looking at spring like temperatures. So you're not going to need the heavy coat at all for this week. Honestly, maybe even the vest might be a little heavy for us as we're going to see temperatures into the lower 50s and into the 60s heading into Wednesday. It's going to be on the nicer side, McKenna, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited to just not wear so many layers <laughs> and just not have to eat up my car before I go. Also, with gas prices, you don't even want to eat up your car right now. I know. I'm no. already thinking about what I'm going to do after the show. I'm like, do I freeze as I drive <laughs> for 10 minutes or do I eat up the car? I'm tired of driving while freezing. Well, it's a good thing that we're going to be I'm back I'm really, <laughs> really happy to see these temperatures. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, thanks, Jillian. <laughs> Last week, a search spanning more than a century came to an end off the coast of Antarctica, deep underwater. As CBS's Roxana Sabay reports, the discovery resurfaces one of the world's great survival stories. Resting some 10,000 feet below the icy surface of Antarctica's Weddell Sea, researchers and deep sea robots have discovered one of the 20th century's most famous ships. People said we'd never be able to find this shipwreck, but they did, they persisted. These are the first images of explorer Ernest Shackleton's ship Endurance, since it was crushed by ice and sank 107 years ago. Frozen in time, the three-masted wooden ship is largely preserved. Its bolts shiny, even dinner plates. These white circles remain. I never dreamed that we'd see the gold lettering of endurance with the polar star there on the stern. Historian Dan Snow has been documenting the expedition that found it. Why was this discovery so significant? It's the best preserved shipwreck of the era of wooden sailing vessels that we have anywhere in the world. And it takes us back to one of the greatest stories in history. In 1914, Shackleton set sail for Antarctica, attempting to be the first to cross the continent by land. But sea ice trapped, then slowly sank endurance. The crew survived on a diet of seals and penguins and a spirit of camaraderie for 18 months. Shackleton would rescue all 27 men, making him a legend. These modern explorers used drones to scan the seafloor. For weeks, they battled blizzards and shifting sea ice, though marine archaeologist Menson Bound says thinner ice than usual helped. The ice is a lot more sparse, which is great for us, but probably not good news for the environment. In keeping with an international treaty, all they took from the ship were these images and data. It's about pushing the envelope with technology, daring to dream. And surviving by working together against all odds. Roxana Saberi, CBS News, London. Make news through part of your weekly routine by downloading the Channel 3000 app for the latest headlines and weather conditions 24-7. First, new discovery. New discovery suggests some ocean life may be adapting amid warming waters. Details when we come back. So with GEICO, we can easily bundle home and car insurance and save even more? Yeah, home, car, motorcycle, all bundled together. Just like that breakfast burrito. So can I get chorizo? Uh, yeah, uh, metaphorically, yeah. Carnita. Just chicken. Just give me a bunch of chicken. Oh, bacon? Uh, oh, wait, there isn't too much hot sauce, is there? I have a sensitive palate. I actually like hot sauce. Can I get chips? How about guacamole? I uh, don't really know what we're talking about anymore. Burritos. Sure. <laughs> okay. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. Welcome to the lifestyles of the smart and savvy. When it comes to saving money, the Marshalls are masterful. But back in the day, that was not the case. Today, savings is what drives them. That's why they chose Consumer Cellular. You live and learn. They get the same premium coverage as the nation's leading carriers for half the cost. Imagine talk, text, and data starting at $20 a month. Plus, AARP members get exclusive discounts. Switch today and get $25.
At Pick and Save, we believe fresh is all about standards. That's why we do up to a 27-point inspection on our produce. Like for oranges, we check for color and scarring and more. Keeping only the best of the best on our shelves. Because when it comes to fresh for everyone, we believe the juice is worth the squeeze. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. I have moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Now, there's Skyrizi. With Skyrizi, three out of four people achieve 90% clearer skin at four months after just two doses. Skyrizi may increase your risk of infections and lower your ability to fight them. Before treatment, your doctor should check you for infections and tuberculosis. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, such as fevers, sweats, chills, muscle aches, or coughs, or if you plan to or recently received a vaccine. Talk to your dermatologist about Skyrizi. Learn how AbbVie could help you save. A breast cancer diagnosis can shake you and your loved ones to the core. At Associated Physicians, we want to remind you that early detection is crucial. Don't put off your routine wellness care any longer. Please make getting your mammogram a priority. Do it for you and those you love. We make it easy. We provide state-of-the-art 3D mammograms on site at our clinic. Schedule your mammogram appointment today at Associated Physicians, 233-9746. In the wake of tragedy, a renewed push to change Wisconsin's constitution on how cash bail is handled. But some say better solutions are being ignored. It doesn't actually make our system more fair or keep us safer. News 3 Now investigates the changing landscape of bail reform in Wisconsin tonight at 10. News 3 Now is always on. Get the Channel 3000 app, activate the push alerts, and we will send you breaking news, traffic, and weather alerts as it happens. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. Finally this morning, in a recent discovery by researchers from Stanford University, it's found that sometimes the impacts of climate change can be more subtle than we may expect. Spencer Christian reports. If you come across a California market squid, it may be on your dinner plate. But when researchers from Stanford came across the sea creatures, it was someplace more unusual. Waters in the Gulf of Alaska, many hundreds of miles north of their normal west coast habitat. Yeah, yeah, their, their typical range um, would be from basically Washington State down to down to Baja, California. Um, and yeah, they, they made, a, made a pretty big leap. Marine researcher Benjamin Burford was working as a graduate student at Stanford when he began looking into the northern migration. He found the highly adaptable squid not only extended their habitat, but managed to keep growing to their full size at the same time. They have the ability, instead of having to like reach a specific size or age in order to mature and breed, um, they can adjust that based on the conditions they experience. And so often what you'll see is, is squid that grow up in really poor conditions, like warm, not a whole lot of food. They'll mature at really small body sizes. But at full size, he says the Alaska squid have the ability to hunt small fish, potentially impacting populations of baby salmon and other sea life. In recent years, marine biologists have noted a number of other marine species, like juvenile great white sharks, also extending their range farther north to waters near Monterey. Theories have centered on climate change and warming ocean temperatures, but Stanford marine scientist Professor Mark Denny says the forces could be even more complex. Can't just look at, oh, well, the water temperature went up, so they moved. You know, well, you've got to have, you know, the competition with other things and and the uh, the lowering oxygen levels and things like that to to explain it. They say it's all critical to understanding which species might be on the move in coming decades, along with where they might wind up. And just as important is the impact they could have on everything from fishing to local ecosystems once they establish themselves. I mean, that's like the first thing we want to know. Like, yeah, what are these squid doing? Who are they eating? Who's eating them? Um, who are they competing with? Because it's a new ecosystem. It's going gonna, it's gonna to affect them. All right, Julian, sounds like we have some spring-like weather headed our way. That's right, we do. That's why we're going to take a look at our 10-day forecast, and we're going to see today's the start of this warmer trend. Temperatures will be mainly into the 50s throughout much of this week. However, we are keeping our eye on for a couple shots of some precipitation from Thursday into Friday as well. Starting from Thursday nights into Friday is what we're looking at, but the next weekend is going to be on the drier side, but we are looking at some real pleasantries for the next few days. So that's something to look forward to because um, I'm excited to start to see some 50s and 60s in our forecast.
forecast. That's 60 account. degrees. Ooh. I know. I think the only bad thing about that is that it will be on the breezy side. I'll take it. I'll take it <laughs> as long as I can see it. All right. Thanks for joining us this morning. We'll have more news later tonight.